Hello everyone. Today we are here to discuss the previous year's questions from UPSC prelims examination. And as you know, the prelims season is coming, and in a few days you will also start preparing for the prelims with your hundred percent efficiency. So for that, you must first understand what are the uh, previous year's papers of the UPSC so that you get an idea. The UPSC makes questions on what lines. Although it is very difficult to predict any question, but still you must uh, at least appreciate the types of questions that UPSC is asking. So fr from that perspective, we will discuss some of the questions of the previous years. We will try to give you the answer. Plus also, I will try to give you some additional concepts so that uh, you can relate to uh, what type of conceptual clarity is needed. Plus, uh, in some of the questions, uh, still they are in the current affairs. Uh, due to some or the other recent news, so I will tell you the news also. So without wasting time, let's jump into the question and see what type of questions are there. Viruses can infect which of the following? Viruses can infect everybody. Everybody. So all the three are correct. One thing that you must know about virus is that virus is not considered to be living organism. It does not have enzymes to produce energy. It cannot replicate on its own. It can do nothing on its own. The only way virus can reproduce is if it enters a living cell. It if 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 it enters a living cell, for example, bacteria, fungus, or plant. If it, if the virus infects these or animals uh, for that matter, then the virus can enter into the cell, hijack the mechanism of the cell, and make more and more copies of itself. This is the only way virus can make copies. Okay, so therefore, virus in order to survive must infect some living cells. It can be uh, bacteria, fungus, or uh, plant. It can be animal. Okay, so <coughs> therefore, the viruses which uh, uh, attack bacteria, they are called bacteriophages. Okay, bacteria, uh, the virus can infect fungus and plants also. So all of the three are correct. Now, one additional information: there are some viruses. Which can also infect other viruses. Okay. Now you will ask, sir, how is this possible? Because virus itself cannot do like uh, cannot uh, do something. So, for example, suppose this is a host cell. Okay. So what will happen is that this is this is a nucleus of the cell. So what will happen is there will be some virus. Suppose this is the virus which has attacked the host cell. ठीक है तो इट इज मेकिंग कॉपीज ऑफ द होस्ट बट देर कैन बी सम अदर वायरस दिस इज अ स्मॉलर वायरस दिस इज अ स्मॉलर वायरस तो स्मॉलर वायरस कैन कैन इन्वेड इट सेल्फ इन टू दिस वायरस विच हैज इन्वेडेड इन टू द होस्ट सेल ठीक है तो दीज स्मॉलर वायरसेज which can in this is this is a virus and this is the smaller virus which has infected the bigger virus okay so these smaller viruses which can attack the bigger viruses these are called as virophages okay these are called as virophages basically these are the ones which can attack other viruses okay and they can only survive inside these viruses if these viruses are inside a host cell okay so there are some giant viruses giant viruses for example mimi virus it's a giant virus okay when it infects amoeba there is another virus which can infect the mimi virus and then it can reproduce itself so if this is the case then this host cell will only make copies of the mimi virus of the, of this virus of this virus and not of the mimi virus so therefore ultimate copies will be of this virus many many more smaller viruses will be created and these viruses which can infect other viruses are called as virophages so virus can infect bacteria plant fungus animal and in fact they can also infect other viruses okay so this is the uh, this is the crux of this question okay so chalte hain aage H1N1 basically it was in news so it was related to swine flu theek hai to uh, all these viruses na bird flu swine flu etc these are influenza viruses influenza viruses are of three types influenza A B and C mostly in humans influenza A viruses are the culprits theek hai to all these uh, bird flu swine flu etc they are influenza A type of virus and when we say H when we say h1n1 
when we say H1N1, so it means the spike protein on the surface of the virus is of H1 type and N1 type. Okay, these are due, there are many different types of H protein. There are many different types of N protein. When we say virus as H1N1, it means the on the surface of the virus, the spike protein is of is of the form of the H1 and N1. When we say H1 uh, H5N1, then spike protein is of the form of the H5 uh, and N1. Okay, so H5N1 is bird flu, H1N1 is swine flu. Okay, so this is the question number twelve. <coughs> Now uh, this this is a very standard question, typical question. Uh, vitamin and their deficiency diseases. So vitamin C ki deficiency is scurvy hota hai. This is correct. Vitamin D ki deficiency se rickets hota hai. Uh, that is uh, correct. Vitamin E ki deficiency se ye nahi hota. Vitamin E ki deficiency se ye nahi hota. Let me just go back. Vitamin E deficiency se night blindness nahi hoti. Night blindness is because of vitamin A deficiency. Night blindness vitamin E deficiency से होती है, तो ये third statement is incorrect and one and two are the only correct option. ठीक है, तो this was a very standard question. Generally it is not asked in the U uh, UPSC, but sometimes in 2014 it was asked. Vitamin E in fact acts as antioxidant in the body. Antioxidant. It is found in fresh fruits, vegetables, etc. It acts as antioxidant. And what do we mean by antioxidant? Whenever we eat some food, some very highly reactive chemicals are formed. These are called as free radicals. Free radicals are very reactive. They can react with nearby cells and they can damage the cells. So, if there are more free radicals in the body, they will ca cause more damage and this can lead to many problems. It can lead to damage of the heart cells. It can lead to damage of the nerve cells. It can lead to damage of the skin cells. So, skin becomes uh, uh, wrinkly and, uh, uh, and spoiled. So therefore, if we eat antioxidants, just like fru fruits, vegetables which contain vitamin E, and vitamin E acts as antioxidant, so this antioxidant will react with these free radicals and it will neutralize them. So therefore, the damage from the free radicals will be stopped. So therefore, vitamin E is good for the overall health. It neutralizes the free radicals. And it acts as antioxidant. And uh, night blindness is caused because of the deficiency of vitamin A. I conclude my discussion. Thank you very much.